Okay, Trans Am Lamb Land. I'm going to uh, I pressure wash yesterday, and I'm just going to show you some quick pictures of where I welded the floor pan. And then I'm going to touch it up, and, and I'm going to put some bondo on there. So here it goes. Turn this uh, viewfinder around. You can see the stitch stitch wells. There's one there. I think you can see it around here. Around here. There's one here. There's one here. That's right above the back seat. If you notice, they're all, or most of them are all where these drain holes are. I think these drain holes are when they dip the car so they could drain. And the trunk. See it there. There's a, somewhere there's a spot there and going towards the front there's a spot here and there's a spot here and there's one here if I didn't show you that so that's underneath the driver's, uh, like, uh, I don't know, in front of the driver's seat. This is about where the gas pedal is, where the water drains down off the uh, cowl. And uh, anyway, I think I did a pretty good job. There's a couple high spots, but it cleaned up pretty good. You can see, I mean, whatever's left here, looking up is like, like undercoating. I was told there wasn't any undercoating, but there is. And I sprayed the heck out of it. So I'm pretty satisfied with the way it cleaned up. The thing is, I got this table full of welding tools. I mean, tools I've been using for the body. And I decided to because uh, I got to put all this stuff away. I, I need different tools for different stuff. So I'm going to uh, finish this and then I can put all this stuff away. And uh, we're supposed to be, I can't see it. This is looking at the rear end. There's supposed to be a ratio code on here. Here's a uh, serial number I'll look up later. Let me zoom in on that if it, I can It's hard to tell with this viewfinder. Just gonna tilt it the light over this way. And I don't really know what that number means, but I'm going to look it up. Oops. No, I won't focus. As usual. I mean, maybe it's focused, to, but in my camera, like, there it is. And here, like I said, there's supposed to be a, a ratio. Let me turn this off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, wire brush it. Okay, I'm on the, uh, I'm looking at the, rear of the axle 
I can't see it through this viewfinder. But there's some look I'm just gonna lower it back. It looks like it says PS G6 252. two five two. I'll look that up later. I only got those numbers G15, GM15. I only got those numbers we looked at before. Let's see if there's any more numbers numbers on here. We got those numbers there. E36 something. That's all I see right now. But the other way to do it is just spin this drive shaft and mark the tire. I want to do that. We'll get ready to do that. Okay, so I'll see if I can stay out of the way. I got this straight up. I got a mark on the tire. I want to see how many times this spins before this gets back down. If it gets back down, it's three to one. If it gets back less, it's less than three to one. If it gets past, it's more than three to one. One. Two. So it's more than three to one. Let me see where the mark is. I can find it. So it's right at halfway. So a tire, you divide it in four. It's, these are, this is 325 rear end. A 325 posi. You know, somebody told me it was 290, but it's not. Let's try it one more time. There's one mark. Or maybe I went the wrong way. Let me see which way it spins. Well, now it's off. Should I get it back where it was? I can't. I'll get rid of this mark. Make sure this is straight up. That, that's straight up. So this is the new mark. I don't know why this isn't marking. Well, here we go one more time. That's spinning that way, so. One, two, there's the mark. Three. Oh. The mark is right there. I don't know if you can see it. We'll call this uh, I don't know what it's a quarter way it's a quarter way up. So these are 
This is a 325 rear end. Looking at these marks, I'm looking at the marks up here. I don't know what it would say. But since I'm recording this, it does say PS either G6 or 66. One, two, five, four. And this other number that I was on that was on the axle the axle case. One, two, four, nine. Five one three B I would say. And this one up above. It looks like E. A six. Let me uh, grind. Let me set, uh, use my wheel, my uh, wire brush on it. It's either a three or a six. So it's either 8.6 or 3.6. And it's got a date thing that goes right down, straight down. I don't know what that means. And there's a spot on each side where they welded the axle tubes together. There's no numbers there. Anyway, that'll give me something to look at. Now I'll go back to what I said I was doing at the beginning. I bought this uh, new tool and I'm going to try it. It's called a, I don't know what it's called, a needle something. And I got safety glasses, prescription. I have this thing on there. So I pressure washed the car, but I couldn't get everything. So we're going to try this. I'm going to point straight up. I'm right in the tunnel of the car. Let me adjust the camera. Now let me do it right there. So it's going to be loud. i got earplugs in. stuff has to come out but I want to do some uh, let me see if I can turn the camera here so you can see the floor patches here the hose is wrapped around the tripod So I just, uh, there's some areas that I don't put bond, I'm just going to put some bond on a light coat. There's some areas there's grease and I don't want to put it on the grease. But while I'm here, let me try it right on this. tunnel here or oh, here's a spot right here where I just can't get it with a wire brush or anything
Let's try, uh, let's try right here. spots then I'll turn it off. See if I can get in closer. It's really good for uh, where there's lines or bends. I got all that stuff off. Let's see if I can. Again, this viewfinder is a real pain. Anyway, just wanted to try it. Okay, I spent about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. This thing works great. That tunnel up in there was full. It wasn't grease, it was like undercoating, but the weird thing is it wasn't everywhere. And now you can see my my uh, patches. Really good. But it's really, it's really a cool tool. I guess I like tools. This is a tool you use after you get the grease off. And then you can get all any kind of loose scale of rust and uh, undercoating and... Uh, I don't know, I really like it. I also bought a uh, sandblaster, a cheap one. A small Harbor Freight. I was going to use that up in here, but, you know, the sand will go everywhere. Again, I want to say this again, this is not a show car, I'm just doing this because it's, it's something new, I've never done it before. I want to see what's possible. But it, it, it's interesting. Again, I'm just really working on the body, because I can take off, I want to take off that front clip soon i keep changing my mind what i'm going to do i was going to work finish the doors rebuild those and then i decided no i finished the welding which i did and now i'm thinking no i think i'll put some bondo on here and uh either spray or undercoat where where i can maybe But yeah, it's 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 awesome. I'll show you up above. Right now, I'm like right under where the gas tank would be. There's the rear axle. I mean, that was thick up in there. It just it chipped off. Chip off this back frame. I don't think this one comes off. I think this one's uh, welded in place. But, but of course, I can take the rear end off, all the lines, the, the sway bar, leaf springs. Then I can get whatever I couldn't reach later. And down here. This is what I just took off in an hour and a half. I'll show you how much that is. 
or I'll show me. This is an iPhone 7. I don't know if I said this, but it's really good to go around. You know, I've, I've taken out a lot of bolts in my life. On cars, and they're always got crud all around them. This is really good for going around the bolts. Look at that. I'll show you the rear end. Going around the rear end just for the heck of it. If I can find it. Let's see, where is it? I gotta zoom out. So it, it worked. It worked pretty good. And by the way, I was—I don't know, you know—the other part of the film I shot yesterday. I looked at the code on this axle. I, I can't remember exactly, but it says like it's a two sixty-one or two eighty or something like that. But I just don't think that's right. I think somebody either switched the gear ratio. Or uh, I'm doing it wrong, but I did it three times. So I'll get my buddy to come over here. He can look at it. I'm also trying to figure out. You know, you look in the book, you can tell what day and what month. But I haven't been able to figure out what year. I can't find that if I look it up. Not yet. But yeah, it's just. Oh, that was satisfying using that tool. That's it.